Ready to race board is on. The final time today in round one of the Five Nations Brilliant Rally Cross Championship. We're underway. Slamir Volant gets away very nicely indeed in the rear wheel drive BMW. They go side by side with him and Jason Bleasdale down to the first corner. No room there for Bleasdale. He's taking out polystyrene markers like he's on Mario Kart. And Slamir Volant gets the race lead, gets the whole shot. Well, that was really aggressive with Jason Bleasdale to the first corner. And look how wide Stuart Emery is going through uh, Chesson's Drift for the first time there. Gathers it all up, but there was no love lost there I'm sure between Bollum and between please down at the first turn no he's lucky that didn't replace the markers of polystyrene rather than the water filled markers we've seen in previous years because the VX220 has survived or has it because Stuart Emery nips past and the Fabrician man up into second place this is a really good run you're treating today as a test session it's become a lot more than that he's going along very very nicely indeed and it's up into second and he's going to become the closest challenger to Slavomir Volok in the V8 powered BMW. It's Volok versus Emery. One and two. Third place was Bleasdale, but he's now joking in the background. And Fred Ling's come through into third, but it's Slavomir Volok in the BMW who leads coming out of the elbow. Very nice indeed there from uh, Slavomir Volok, then closely followed by uh, Jason Bleasdale. Then, uh, of course, the Joker's laps have got to come into. Uh, into play and we'll see what happens. Apologies that I said it was uh, Jason Bleasdale in second place. Of course it isn't. It's Stuart Emery who is in P2. The bonnet looks like it's coming away from the bumper there for Slamir Volant, which wouldn't be the first of the time we've seen that uh, over the course of round one here today. Let's just keep a close eye on that and hopefully there'll be no dramas here for Slamir so far. He's driven very nicely indeed for round one so far, despite that aggressive move into that first corner, not really giving Jason Bleasdale any room to uh, find his way onto the tarmac but a very impressive result it will be for him uh, nonetheless of course this is a new car for him relatively so speaking the last year of course it was completed and it's proved to be a very competitive one of that yes a very spectacular one as well uh, pleased out bx220 fairly new as well built by Peter mcgarry and switching to please as has fred ling recovered from broken uh, wishbone he had the issue in the qualification stages which put him out of the earlier race he's now back out onto circuit ludo hermans still circulating nicely in the volvo s40 hermans is a, a very well convinced as Lyndon hill because that volvo is particularly spectacular as stuart emery from second spot takes the joker that will allow fred ling to nip through into second where will Ludo, Ludo. Hermans come out side by side almost with Emery but Hermans has already taken the Joker so that is a battle for position and through goes Ludo Hermans the Belgian visitor in the Volvo S40 lovely slide through the devil's elbow that's how you take that 90 degree left and, uh, and Stuart Emery now is coming under pressure from Bleasdale and they change at North Bend Hairpin. So Stuart's pace just dropped off slightly. Oh, oh, oh has it. And there's right contact. Up the inside of the Vauxhall. Stuart Emery going really well here and really getting his elbows out. And this is a, a, yeah, a very feisty test session for him. Yeah, it certainly is really in uh, good racing though between them. Good to see as Fred Ling goes into the Joker then as he uh, takes his Joker lap. Slamir Volek also the race leader has gone in and taken his Joker lap and emerged with a very comfortable margin indeed Fred Ling is just going to come out behind this squabbling trio for now second position effectively in this race with Ludo Hermans holding on to P2 ahead of Jason Blees down there in the number 67 who's trying every which way to get his way past as they go side by side through the devil's elbow up to the top of Perry Hill it's Ludo Hermans on the inside on the outside then is the uh, 171 of Ludo Hermans did he manage to find his way through not quite through there Bleasdale holds on for P2 as it stands at the moment and it's getting very exciting indeed between them. The checkered flag now is out, and Slamme Bollock comes over to take the uh, checkered flag ahead then of uh, the second place man of uh, Ludo Hermans. What a great race, and what a great way to start the 2021 Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. Now.